We're good. I guess for both of you, uh, it seemed like everything was going in tonight. How did it feel to have a game like this, especially going into the break? <laughs> um, it felt really good. I mean, it's always nice to see the ball go through the basket. Um, teammates got us open, so it was, it was pretty easy to put it in. I think that we moved the ball well and we found the open person, which made easier shots, which are easier to hit, obviously. And we did make them, so. In terms of making those shots during that 13 0 run that kind of separated you all from Southern, I guess, how, how big was that run just to kind of close out that second quarter? Um, it was super important for us to have a momentum, uh, a momentum boost going into the second quarter. So I think it was important. We needed to uh, like assert, assert ourselves early. So that's kind of what we were trying to do. Um, our message was it's a lot you have a lot better break when you win going into the break mm -hmm. so uh, obviously that was our goal um, and we just didn't want to take this game for granted didn't want to let up and keep our momentum going Lexi I guess how, how did you feel uh, Najee played uh, early on obviously she got the start today and obviously she, she was able to kind of start off pretty quick on offense yeah, like I said earlier, um, she's our energizer. So when she sees the ball going, it, it usually is contagious for everybody else too. So um, she came out and she did exactly what she needed to do. And um, she's she's learning the point guard role every day better and better. So she's doing exactly what she needs to do. And for her to see some shots going is good for us and her. Anybody else? All right. Thanks, ladies. Thank you. Right, for you guys, I'll, one more. One more. We gotta get them out of here. Sorry. Uh, for you guys, just how nice was it to, you know, sort of have this game after those first two conference games to be able to, you know, continue on to build that confidence up? I think it was important for us to, you know, just continue to mo continue the momentum going into the break. Um, we wanted to come out with a win. We wanted to set ourselves early, and that's exactly what we did. So it was really important for us to get this win going into the break. Well, I thought you were going to say, we, we were pretty pleased with how much we shared the ball with Southern since we gave it to them 22 times. But, um, but yes, I mean, yes, I, our goal was to try to get 20 or more assists. We knew that they were going to come out and really pressure us, so we knew there were some opportunities for some backdoor cuts and just some op opportunities to help each other score. And I thought our kids did a good job of that and just sticking to that game plan. I'm not happy with the 22 turnovers at all, especially as well as we have managed the basketball um, in, the, in the previous game. So definitely have to take a look at that. And, and I, I wasn't pleased late in the game – against the press that we just kind of got real lackadaisical um but at the end of the day you know um we know how difficult it is to get wins and we're very glad to come out on top of that Najee getting the start today I mean I know you guys are just working different people in but how, how do you think she uh, handled the role and uh as somebody that usually comes in and provides a spark how did she start off the game yeah I thought she did a good job I thought that she she always gives us great energy um you know she's um uh, she's a great shooter, and so she gives us another threat on the floor. But I thought she did a nice job and, and took advantage of that opportunity. Coach, in terms of Kyle, I guess, what, what did you see from her today? She had 10 points, and it seems like she's starting to get a little bit more comfortable on the floor now. Yeah, you know, she's got a strong body and finishes pretty well in the paint. Um, so I thought that she got better as the game went on. Um, you know, she, she just got to rebound the basketball better for us because uh, she's some of our, our, you know, limited height. We're a little bit limited there. And so when she's in the game, she's really got to use that for, um, for the greater good, which is to rebound the basketball. But I thought that she did some good things and, and looked a lot more confident. Yeah, we tried to get her um, in the game to give her some just some experience and, and some live minutes. Um, also, I think that she, um, you know, just needs to, to get comfortable with her teammates again and, and confident there. But, yeah, we tried to keep it simple for her. We did call a couple of things. Um, 
when she was on the court that but that we probably shouldn't have. But I really wanted her to defend and rebound and then just post up on the block and give us a, a give us a good look and a good presence down low. And, and I thought she did a pretty good job of that. Yeah, our kids do have a couple of days to go home, um, you know, and we're taking all the precautions, of course. Um, but yeah, they're going to go spend some time with their family and, um, and and decompress a little bit. And then we'll come back and, and regroup and, and try to keep building on this momentum. I think we finished, um, you know, th this run right here well. Um, it's nice to end with two wins and, and to go into the break with some confidence and momentum. And uh, we definitely have to come back ready to go and, and ready to keep getting better. Yeah, you know, we certainly want to continue to get her more shots. I mean, she and Lexi both are high-volume shooters, um, but they also can do so many other things, and that's what's been fun to watch Vivian do is that just, you know, her being able to share the basketball and create shots for herself. And I actually feel like not create shots for herself, create shots for others. And I actually feel like that's why she's not getting as many shots is because she is passing it more. Um, maybe in some, some situations where she normally would jump up and shoot it, she's finding an open player that has a little bit better better shot. And I think that's super unselfish of her, and I think that just adds to her game. Um, and it makes it really hard to try to double her if she's going to try to find you know other players for easier shots. So we want to keep trying to manufacture um, shots for her because we certainly want her to, to have an opportunity to get some good looks at the basket. But, um, but I think that they're doing a good job of trying to just um, settle into what we're asking them to do. Well, to be quite honest, I was very um, nervous about this game because it looked to me like a trap game for sure. I mean, I know they were 0-5 coming in, but they had played some ridiculous people and played them really well. And they just play hard. They're athletic. They've got some really nice players on their team. Um, so I was, I was very concerned. Um, so I'm glad that we jumped on them early. And uh, I thought that our defense kind of led to our offense early, and that kind of let us settle in and, and get that cushion. Um, and then we were able to kind of, um, you know, get some kids some playing time, um, try to work on a few things. And, and uh, I do think that you could see the fatigue settle, settle in in the second half, and we've got to learn how to fight through that because um, that led to some ugly basketball when we got tired. <laughs> Yeah. Well, that's what we want them to be. We really want them to quit worrying about the, and not, the, not that they are, but the, to quit focusing on what um, position they are and to just play basketball. And whoever has the mismatch, maybe we take them down low and post them up. Whoever has the mismatch on the perimeter, you know, be able to take them off the bounce. Um, and then just, I still think we've got to work on trying to screen for one another and, and get each other some better shots and make the other defense um, have to make some tough decisions on who where they want to help. But, um, but it's nice to have um, those real versatile guards like that who who can have some size and uh, can rebound the basketball can lead the break that certainly has helped us um, in the last two games of just being able to rebound it and go with it whoever rebounds it Yeah, I thought um, I thought we saw some progress. I mean, I still want to see them be a lot tougher, um, a lot more sure of themselves, and demand the basketball. We've got to have a presence in the paint, and you've got to demand the basketball when you're in the paint. And um, you know, they're freshmen, so they're not quite doing that yet. But I thought that they did some things defensively pretty well. Um, I thought they, um, you know, tried to stick to our game plan pretty well. And 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 the offense part will come. I mean, I think Kyla made a beautiful move to the basket once um, and you don't got to and one and, um, and and I think Hattie did as well so it's it it's going to come it's going to come they just need um, they need more more time and, and just more practice and, and more experience.